Hi everybody and welcome to Particle Shop where I am excited to show you the Halloween brush pack. This brush pack is definitely going to help you bring some of your more autumn or Halloween pictures uh, with more of a spooky life to it, um, especially with the nature of particles as we know them. Uh, I'm going to start off with the blood one and this, what I'm about to say, applies towards all of these brushes. But as that you go through these, keep the hue and the saturation in mind. For example, if I'm going to use blood here and maybe a crack or on this lantern or maybe just on the wall, it's not ideal for me to use it like this. What I'm going to show you is selecting the, the color and changing the hue on the color wheel and maybe even the saturation if you want it more colorful. So now let's let that kind of rip out there and you can see how that's much more realistic. I say this of course because I want you to get the most out of these brushes and because it makes them more exciting and lifelike. So as we go through the rest of the brushes keep that in mind and you'll see me color pick and add that to some of the actions that I take further. So let's go ahead and look at this next one the broom dust and we're gonna go ahead and select kind of a hue I know is similar down here to the floor and what I can do is I can kick some dirt around and that kind of adds a fun effect maybe some trick-or-treaters or something I'm sure you get the idea of how this could be useful in a lot of Halloween pictures or maybe some of these bubbles might be useful for a subtle glow on something we also have things like haunt and ghostly that feel pretty random but would add kind of a spooky flare if you swept it across your picture in just the right way that showed maybe a spirit or an aura about the image. Um, there are different ones down here too uh, that do somewhat of the same nature in different ways. One of my favorite brushes in this is the web brush and what I like to do is I like to use this on a large size and a low opacity which is this up here and I'm gonna go ahead and select a light gray and let's add some webs in the corner over here Let me move this and you can see how that creates a cobweb effect and I can even attach this maybe to this handle here if I'm careful and that becomes really fun and adds expression and direction to your picture. You could use cobwebs to even change your composition, I'm sure. I really like that one. <laughs> and you can use some mist. This one I find is just very subtle. And you can just use it in areas where maybe there's some sharpness you don't really want. Especially as we're playing with darkness and darker images, we want to be able to combine different values um, and we have the gooey brush which is very similar to the blood but it does a little more I feel like it's a little more expressive as far as how thick it looks but this is kind of the basis of what kind of brushes come in this brush pack and I'm pretty excited about it because I don't have a lot of ways to be festive as an introverted artist so this will give me something to do and I feel like this one is pretty cool as well so what I recommend with the rot brush is select your darkest value maybe I'll even steal something darker let's see if that I guess as long as I'm careful you can see that creates kind of a rot with the pumpkin there we go or you can do this to walls if you want to age something or crack it apart it becomes pretty interesting so that's the basis again of the kind of brushes that are in this brush pack and now let's go ahead and have a small time lapse of of making this image go from beginning to end maybe something a little more finished and interesting thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.